<laughs> Alright everybody, welcome back. This is Zero with Resident Evil. We're going to start out 2016 strong with one of 2015's top games. And as you can see in the bottom is a 1996. This is a remake of Resident Evil. It's actually a remaster of the GameCube version of Resident Evil. So there's a little bit different. We got the Crimson Zombies in here. Kind of crazy. Uh, but I really wanted to do this. I really wanted to get into this so that we could start off Resident Evil Zero on the 19th with some fresh survival horror in our minds. Plus, the beginning of January here is a little slow. We're finishing up Fallout. Resident Evil. Oh, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. Now, I have not played this game in a while, so I remember some. I don't remember all. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on normal mode here and we're gonna play as Jill um, actually go ahead and get this BSAA outfit I think the stars are and eh, now nah, we're doing the BSA outfit all right Jill Valentine so I hope you guys enjoy this um, like I said I have I actually started this last year and did not finish it it was the first video that I uploaded on this channel the very first and I put up two parts, and then I believe Resident Evil Revelations Alpha 2 came out. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated so in the northwest. We will uh, shut up here and let you listen to this. We are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Seriously, mission. Haven't found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. Enter the survival horror. Man, this, this intro gets me so pumped. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. 
What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. It's kind of crazy. You know in a situation like this, there would not be any split up. Like, these three would stick together. <clears throat> A dining room. All right, so here we go. Uh, the controls aren't bad. You can kind of get what you want. I use the thumbstick. But the thing I like about room. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill. Let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Back and you see the PlayStation. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Alright, so... This is the beginning of the game. We're going to get a little bit a little bit into the game here in the first episode, but my main thing was I just wanted to kind of start it back off. Oh no. There's more zombies in this house. Wesker! Jill! Help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Alright, so like I said, there's a lot I remember. There's a lot that I don't. So we're gonna... It's gonna be interesting playing through this. Uh, Alright, so we got the map. I guess I just kind of wanted to try out the controls here. Okay. Aim. Probably shoot. Triangle is... This. Okay. So... In order to continue this scene here, what you want to do is, is circle around here. We come down, go back up, come back up, and that'll start the cutscene again. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Alright, so wait. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, 
Let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Alright, it's funny, it looks like Barry heads back into this room, uh, but you don't see him, so... I'm not going to call this a walkthrough. I'm not going to label it as that because I really, to tell you the truth, it's been so long. And since I did not play through the entire game last year, I really don't remember all of it. So I'm going to do my best to uh, to go as fast as I can. But it's going to it's going to be turning into a zero let's play here, uh, not too long into it. There's the corpse. I'll let you guys uh, read these things. I will leave them up there for a short period of time. You can pause to go through. That is a video cassette that we will not be able to play until later. But his name was Kenny, or Kenneth. We'll remember that. Okay. Got some handguns. Don't worry about that zombie yet. You don't really need to take these. Um, I kind of like taking one. I gotta get used to these controls, too. That is gonna get me killed if I don't. This game was so iconic. I, this Resident Evil, I mean, I know it's the same for everyone. It's very cl cliche uh, to say this, but... It is what made me. Alright, I think we can run around him. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Right, it's okay. That's why we took that herb. Okay, so from the status screen, you can examine items. Head through here. I believe this is right. This will put us back out onto the balcony. Might not have to look at a map. Yeah, quite often. So I don't get too messed up in here. We'll save some ammo on this guy if we uh, let him just chase us around a little bit. Come on, buddy. He'll always be up here. It's someone to, to think about. We can go ahead and get this dagger as well. The defensive item. Alright, so defensive items, such as daggers, will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. Alright, to equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and select the item from the defensive item menu. Alright, for your defensive item mode is set to manual on the control settings, you may press L2 to use it. Now, I'm not sure if we have it set to manual or uh, automatic, but we have it in there. Uh, so right now, it looks like it's like a stun gun. But we got the dagger. So that's something they added in the GameCube version and they brought back for this. I actually like it. I think it's kind of cool. Especially when you start getting the other type items. Zombies should be walking back around here soon. There we go. Oh! Too bad, too sad, my man. We are out of here. So yeah, I want to drop that statue. You saw a little blinking blue gem on it. We'll go pick that up a little bit later. So something to remember that we got all the time in the world. Uh, ooh, actually, is this the way? I could be wrong. I might want to go down the stairs. No, this is right. Okay, okay. There's some shotgun ammo over there. We don't necessarily need to grab it yet. So, go ahead and look at this. So, we got that arrow. We're going to go ahead and examine it. Uh, you go ahead and check. And we got the arrowhead. Now, back in the day, this is how you had to... You, you couldn't just go up to items... And click on them, you actually had to go in your inventory and use the item in specific spots. This is the only way it would work. It was so fun trying to figure all this out. 
And that's why I'm saying this is not a walkthrough, because this stuff, it looks like I know what I'm doing, I'm, I'm remembering it pretty good, but there is going to be a part where I start to forget. This is freaky. This is uh, one of the freakier parts of the game, and it gets really freaky later. All those masks on oh, that hanging coffin, oh my god. This bit, book is fitted perfectly. Book of Curses, yes we will. And let's just go ahead and investigate it right now. Oh, sorry. Examine. Oh, this is the back. Yep. Alright, so we now have the mansion key. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. The mask that speaks no evil, the mask that smells no evil, the mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot sneak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Man, they are not kidding. So, that is what we are on the hunt for, my man. We need to get that. Alright, Jill. I want to try to do a little bit more in this episode. So, we won't pick up that shotgun ammo yet point really at this this point though we will hopefully be getting the shotgun soon not that I mind the handgun the handgun is a formidable weapon but go ahead and turn into the I believe this is the right way so Okay, so up there is a little blinky. Um, let's get up. And go down. Now the thing is, is you don't really want to walk back in that hallway. I mean, you can if you want to. It's going to summon a uh, zombie encounter. You're going to pick up a defensive item in there. And then the zombie's going to come in. And you're going to have to use that defensive item. So, it's almost like... I think it's a tutorial on how to use defensive items is why they put that in there. All right, so we got a map of the first floor. So here we are now. Go ahead and jump down. That's pretty much all there is in this room. Go ahead and head out with our mansion key. Carry on. So this video is going to go a little bit longer just because, uh, oh wait, which way do I push this? This way. Alright, so we've got a dagger underneath here. I oh, guess we will. Ooh, jeez. Man, I remember the first time these jump scares in this game. This is so good. I really suggest you guys pick this up, especially with... Do it. All right, there we go. There's some handgun ammo, especially with Resident Evil Zero uh, coming out. If you haven't already picked it up, you might want to think about getting the physical copy on the 19th of Resident Evil Origins. So you'll get this game and Resident Evil Zero for the low, low price. Oh, wait, we're coming in here. I think we're gonna pick up a medical bag out here. Okay, there's dogs, but you don't have to worry about them quite yet. Okay, now we don't actually need those. There we go. Then again, I think if you take there, it's possible they might jump over. I don't know exactly how that works. It's either the next time you come out, they're out there, or those are the dogs that you whistle for. Um... We'll figure that out. Okay, so here is a cutscene. I think this is a uh, standard cutscene, but we'll see. Oh, 
Another dagger. Not gonna argue about that. Let's see if this is the right room here. It's so interesting trying to uh, figure all this out. Okay, perfect. So this is kind of a freaky little room. But I'm trying to get everything in the right order. I, I can remember a lot of this mansion. It's kind of right before the snake battle that I start to uh, lose track of what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and pick up this ribbon so that we have one. And we will grab the shotgun. Gotta love the shotgun. There's anything else in there. Traces of something here. Smells in the air. Man, the I remember the first time exploring this mansion. I just had to read everything. Sweet time. You have to check each door. Oh God. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Now. Wesker, Barry, help! Jill, you in there? Barry, right. get me out of here. The door's jammed. This is the famous Stand Jill back. sandwich scene. <clears throat> Grab my hand. <sighs> was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? <laughs> Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. This was a uh, a big time. Like, is Barry a good guy or a bad guy? I remember back in the day, like, not trusting Barry, playing this game a couple of different ways. And if it didn't work out for you, if that didn't work out for you in the way that I just did it, it's because you've already met Barry in the main room before and he gave you some acid rounds. Okay, we need to... Get around him and go in here. This is where we're going to end it right now. But if you get the acid rounds for, from Barry, then you cannot get the shotgun at that moment. You have to wait until you get the um, the old replica shotgun, and then you can replace the shotgun in order to stop the trap from happening. So uh, this is where we're going to end it right now. So I hope you guys had a good time. I'm out of room, actually, so I'm going to have to go into the box here. I hope you had a good time. We will continue this uh, on the next episode, I really wanted to start this up. I'm going to definitely have this finished prior to Resident Evil coming out on the 19th. So I hope you guys stick with me. So that is it for the first episode of Resident Evil HD Remastered. This is Zero, and I'm out. <laughs>